Hi there guys, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro, my name is Tol Horden and once again thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to show you how to play the blues. Now this is a kind of blues known as the 12 bar blues and this tutorial is for complete and utter first time beginners. So if you already know how to play blues, um, you probably best to look at one of my intermediate or advanced videos when they come out and uh, those will be here on my YouTube channel. But if you've never played the blues before in your life, and you don't even know what the style is and what how it works, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, really quickly. So let's get right to it. Now with this tutorial, I'm going to assume you know how to play the piano. And I'll also assume that you know what a C major scale is. Let's have a little refresher of that. Middle C, and we play the white note diatonic C scale. Okay, now if you can do that, and you understand what that is, then you're able to play the blues. Let's take those eight keys again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what we then do, we take the first note, which is the C. And then what we do, we miss a note out and play the next one on. That uh, middle note is three above the first one. So we've got the first and the third of the scale. Let's add the fifth. That's G. So we're now going to play C, E, G. And that's a chord of C major. The other way to name a chord is, of course, to call it a triad. But we'll call them chords for ease of understanding. So this is a chord of C major. It's also known as a root chord because the lowest note is a C. Think of a flower, the lowest thing, a plant, is the root, and then you have the stem, and then the flower on the top. So the lowest thing is the most important one. In this case, the root note C produces a C chord. Now, in 12-bar blues, it's so called because there are how many bars? Yes, you've guessed it, 12 of them. Basically, you can break the blues, the 12-bar blues, down into three easy to play and also easy to remember sections. A lot of people say, I can't remember how to play my piece. Unless I've got the music in front of me. The great thing with the blues is that it's easy to remember. Let's remember 12 bars and let's learn the first section. It's four bars long and it's really easy. You play a C chord and hold it for four bars. But that's a bit boring. So what we're going to do, we're going to play the C chord at the start of every bar and we're going to hold it for all four beats. So instead of just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can see the problem, the C chord is vanishing. So we're going to play four bars of C chord one chord at the start of each bar and hold that chord for all four counts. Here we go. Let's play with the metronome. One, two, three, four. Now I have my metronome there set at 110. That's a fairly fairly good speed. Blues can be quite slow, some blues is played a little faster. If we took the tempo down to say 100, well, that's going to say 85, 86, you then sound like this. One, two, three. Okay, so we have our first four bars. Now that C chord, you have to memorize that. Let's refresh again. C, E, G. And this is middle C. The next chord is a chord of F major, and that comes from the fourth note of the scale of C. One, two, three, four. Now what you then do is you build the exact same shape as the C chord. So the F is our root note, miss, play, that's the A, miss the B, play the C. And there's your F chord. That's a chord of F major. Now this one is used in the second four bar section. 
but we only play the F chord for the first two bars. This is how it will sound. So what do we play for the last two bars of the second section? It's really easy. You already know what to play because you've learned a C chord. So we move our hand, pick it up, keep it really stiff. Well, not too stiff, but loose, but keep it stiff, keep that shape and move it down to your C chord for the last two bars. Okay, I hope that's making sense. Let's now play the first four bars and the second four bars. So in other words, we're playing eight bars of the 12 bar blues. First four bars is our chord of C major. One, two, three, four. Then to the F chord, two bars, and down to the C chord. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really simple, but it sounds really effective. Now, in the next few videos that I'm going to do on how to play blues, I'm going to take you through the steps of how to improve on this very basic format. The last four bars of the 12 bar blues uses all three chords. Now, hang on a minute, you're thinking, I only know two chords. I know my C chord and I know my F chord. Well, there's one more chord in blues. And the chord of the 12 bar blues that we haven't played yet is chord number five. Now we call it chord five in musical terms because it is based on the fifth note of the scale. But as we're learning alphabetically, C major, F major, we just simply move the chord up one place, G, miss A, play B, miss C, play D. G, B, D. And that's your chord of G major. The last four bars, you play the first bar with a G chord. Two, three, four. And then what you do, you lift up your hand and slide it to the left. One note each. Look how my hand looks. It's set. My fingers aren't moving. I'm using my first, my third and my fifth. Moving them down to play the F chord for one bar. Two, three, four. The third bar, this is the penultimate bar, the last but one bar before we finish the blues, is the C chord, because we've got to go home towards the end of the music. Let's play that through with the metronome. Two, three, four. G chord, F chord, C chord. Now, we've done the first four bars, the second four bars, and the last four bars we've only played one, two, three, we're missing one. Now the last bar is an important bar because you need to decide whether you're gonna finish the song or loop around and play it all again. Normally with blues, you play it two, three, four, maybe even five times. And if you were in a blues band, the people who are playing, the saxophones, the trumpets, the piano, would all have a thing on stage which is known as a solo and they stand up and the piano player might do something like this. And you've probably heard of that in recordings over the years. Now, what happens though if we don't want to loop? Well, let's, let's work through that last line again. G chord, four counts. F chord, four counts. C chord, four counts. And then, if you want to finish, play another C chord in the last bar. That's bar 12, that's the end of the music. If you want to loop, you have to use the G chord again. Let's play it through this time, looping it. One, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, last but one bar, and the final bar, one, two, three, and then what you do is you repeat straight back to the beginning of the whole sequence. And here we go again, third bar, fourth bar, 
all C chord, F chord, bar 5, same in bar 6, back to C chord, bar 7, and bar 8, here's bar 9, G, bar 10, F, bar 11, C, and let's finish with a C chord in bar 12. There it is, that's how you play the 12 bar blues. Take a look at the next video and I'll show you how to add in the left hand bass lines. Thanks for watching, please hit subscribe and uh, share this channel with your friends and if you want to please positively comment at the bottom. Thanks for your time, I'll see you again soon.